comparison. Friends, I want you to take a look at this picture of my refrigerator. Do you notice anything unusual? Well, no. It looks like a normal, ordinary refrigerator. And that's exactly what we thought too. But a while back, we left and went on vacation. And when we came home, well, the refrigerator looked the same as it did when we left. It wasn't until we opened the doors that we noticed the light didn't come on. And then the smell hit us. Sometime while we were gone on vacation, our refrigerator had died. And all of the things inside that needed to stay cold, well, they had gotten warm. The ice cream had become puddles of warm milk. The chicken and beef were hot to the touch. It smelled horrible. But from the outside, everything looked okay. It wasn't until we looked inside that we saw we had a problem. And as I was thinking about that refrigerator this week, it reminded me that this is exactly how God sees each one of us. In the book of 1 Samuel, God called Samuel and told him that he wanted Samuel to go out and anoint, to pour oil on the head of the next person that God had chosen to be king after King Saul died. Samuel agreed, so God sent Samuel to the house of a man named Jesse. Now Jesse had many, many sons. And when Samuel told Jesse what he was there to do, well, Jesse called for his oldest son, Eliab. He was strong and a great warrior. And when Samuel saw him, he thought, surely this is who God has picked to be king. But God said no. God said in 1 Samuel 16, 7, God doesn't look on the outward appearance. God doesn't see as man sees. God looks inside at the heart. So Jesse brought six more of his sons in, and for each one, God said no. Finally, Samuel said, do you have any more sons? And so Jesse called for his youngest son, David, just a young boy who was out in the field. And when Samuel saw David, well, he was a young kid. He didn't look like a future king, but God saw differently. When God saw David, God said, Arise, anoint him. This is the one I have chosen. You see, God didn't look at David's outward appearance. God looked at David's heart. God wanted a leader who would love God, who would follow God, and who would try to teach others to follow God. God didn't care if David was strong, if he was handsome, if he was a mighty warrior. The most important thing to God was the heart that David loved God. And that's a lesson for each one of us too. God doesn't look at each one of us. He doesn't care if we have long hair or brown eyes. God looks at our hearts. And God wants to see a heart that loves Him and wants to learn more about Him. And maybe that's how we should look at other people too. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you so very much that you don't look at our outside appearances, that you look inside at our hearts. Help us to all have hearts that love you and want to follow you and help us learn to look at others and judge them not based on what they look like on the outside, but what their hearts look like on the inside. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen.